The story of European origins is a complex mosaic woven across millennia, intertwining ancient hominin legacies with transformative migrations. At its core lies a profound intermingling of archaic and modern humans, culminating in the genetic and cultural landscape of contemporary Europe. This narrative traces the deep Neanderthal heritage, bedded within Europeans, and the later Indo-European migrations that reshaped the continent, revealing how layers of ancestry converge to define Europe's unique identity. Neanderthals, Europe's first inhabitants, long before Homo sapiens walked the earth, Neanderthals H. Neanderthalensis thrived across Europe and Western Asia during the late Pleistocene. These robust, cold-adapted humans, characterized by stocky builds, pronounced brown ridges, and advanced tool-making skills, dominated the region for over 400,000 years. Their extinction around 40,000 years ago coincided with the arrival of modern humans H. Sapiens from Africa. Yet their genetic legacy endured through interbreeding. Neanderthals were not primitive brutes, but sophisticated hunter-gatherers who crafted Masterian tools, controlled fire, and possibly engaged in symbolic behaviors, like burying their dead and collecting ornamental objects. Despite their resilience, Neanderthal populations remained small and isolated, leading to inbreeding and reduced genetic diversity. This fragility left them vulnerable to environmental shifts and competition from incoming modern humans. The genetic handshake, Neanderthal DNA in modern Europeans, when modern humans migrated out of Africa approximately 70,000 years ago, they encountered Neanderthals in the Levant in Europe. These interactions were more than fleeting genomic evidence reveals that non-African populations, including Europeans, carry approximately 1 to 4% Neanderthal DNA. This archaic ancestry persists due to adaptive advantages, genes related to immune response, skin pigmentation, and lipid metabolism helped early humans survive Eurasia's harsh climates. Neanderthal DNA is not evenly distributed. Functional genes like BNC2 linked to skin tone and HYAL2 involved in UV radiation response suggest natural selection favored traits beneficial in northern latitudes. Conversely, harmful Neanderthal alleles associated with autoimmune diseases and depression were purged over time. This genetic mosaic underscores a delicate balance. Archaic admixture provided survival tools, but also introduced vulnerabilities. The arrival of modern humans and the Paleolithic baseline. By 45,000 years ago, modern humans equipped with advanced tools and symbolic culture displaced Neanderthals. These early Europeans, represented by sites like Boccio Kiro, Bulgaria, and Pectera, Ku Oase, Romania, carried the foundational Neanderthal genetic legacy. Their descendants, the Western European hunter-gatherers WHG, thrived during the Mesolithic, adapting to post-glacial forests and coastlines. Yet, this Paleolithic substrate was not static. Around 8000 BCE, Anatolian farmers migrated into Europe, introducing agriculture and a new genetic signature. These Neolithic pioneers carrying minimal Neanderthal ancestry, compared to WHG, transformed Europe's demographics. The resulting admixture created a genetic gradient, higher Neanderthal ancestry in northern hunter-gatherers, lower in southern farmers, the Yamnaya horizon, Bronze Age upheaval, and steppe ancestry. The next transformative wave emerged from the Pontic Caspian steppe, approximately 3000 BCE. The Yamnaya culture pastoralists renowned for a horse domestication, wheeled vehicles, and Kurgan burial spearheaded a migration that reshaped Europe's genetic and linguistic landscape. Genetic studies reveal that Yamnaya descendants, associated with the corded ware and bell beaker cultures, contributed up to 75% of the ancestry in northern Europeans. Crucially, the Yamnaya themselves carried Neanderthal DNA inherited from their ancient Eurasian ancestors. As they expanded westward, this archaic ancestry already diluted over millennia was further diffused. Their arrival introduced traits like lactase persistence and Y-chromosome haplogroup A1b, 
which dominate Europe today, the Indo-European languages they propagated became the linguistic bedrock of the continent, from Celtic to Slavic tongues, synthesis, layers of ancestry in modern Europeans. Modern Europeans are genetic palimpsests, bearing strata of ancient and modern influences. Neanderthal legacy, a subtle but enduring approximately to percent contribution, influencing immune function and adaptation to non-African environments. Mesolithic hunter-gatherers, WHG ancestry peaks in Baltic and Scandinavian populations, retaining slightly higher Neanderthal DNA. Neolithic farmers, Anatolian-derived genes prevalent in southern Europe, diluted by later steppe migrations. Bronze Age steppe pastoralists, Yamnaya ancestry dominates northern and central Europe, carrying the Indo-European linguistic legacy. Conclusion, a dialogue between archaic and modern. The origins of Europeans defy simplistic narratives. Neanderthals, though extinct, live on in the genomes of their modern successors, offering a window into humanity's shared past. The Yamnaya, architects of Europe's Bronze Age, superimpose their genetic and cultural imprint atop this ancient foundation. Together, these threads Neanderthal resilience, farmer innovation, and step dynamism compose the rich tapestry of European heritage. As geneticist David Wright notes, we are all, in a sense, a remix of archaic and modern. In Europe, this remix echoes through millennia, a testament to adaptation, migration, and the enduring legacy of those who came before. Join the Congiverse Patreon for exclusive content, behind the scenes access, and special perks. Support the channel and connect with a community of revolutionary intellectuals and scholars. Click the link in the description to join now.